Hey, I'm Brett. In this video, we're gonna get connected with our camera, we're gonna set up and use image transmission, and then we're gonna use the ZY Play app to control our camera settings. Special thanks to Zhiyun for sponsoring this video. Before we get started, a few things to know. Image transmission is currently compatible with newer Sony cameras and the Panasonic GH5 slash GH5S series of cameras. In this video, I'm gonna be using an iPhone to demonstrate image transmission, but as updates are pushed out for Android, these steps should more or less remain the same. Now, before we do anything, we need to configure our camera in order for everything to work properly. For Sony users, head into the menu and go to setup page three. Set the remote control option to on. Then head to page four and set the USB connection to PC remote. For newer Sony cameras, set the PC remote settings to PC plus camera. For certain Sony cameras like the A7R3, you'll want to turn off control with smartphone on page one of the network settings. For Panasonic owners, simply set the USB mode to PC tether. With that out of the way, the first thing to do is to find the cable that came with your Weeble Lab. Now Sony and Panasonic users are going to be using the same cable, but if you are using Panasonic, simply attach the USB-C adapter to the end of the micro USB cable. In order for things to work properly, you'll need to follow these steps in order. Now with the camera powered off, connect with the right angle end of the cable to the gimbal and the straight end into your camera. Now the next step, power on the gimbal. Now with the camera still powered off, you'll notice that the Weeble is charging our Sony camera. You can turn off USB power while the camera is on to conserve battery life. But when you're done shooting, you should turn off both your camera and the Weeble to conserve battery. Now the next step, power on your camera. It may take a few moments for everything to initialize. Your camera will tell you it's connecting. Once done, you should see the gimbal display change. It will now display your camera settings. Up top, we can see that a connection is active and next to it, we can see what mode we're in. Adjusting the camera settings is really easy on the gimbal. Press down left or right on the jog dial to switch between ISO, shutter speed, aperture, and exposure compensation. Scroll right to increase the value and scroll left to decrease it. You'll see our changes are updated in real time on both the gimbal and the camera. And that's just really awesome to me. This lets us make changes on the fly without having to interrupt our footage. Now let's get started with image transmission. Let's start by connecting the Weeble to the ZY Play app. If you need to update firmware, do that first. Check out this vid I made on how to do it. Once connected, the app may prompt you to join the Weeble's Wi-Fi. It may take a moment for the connection to be made. You can also manually connect in your phone settings. The Wi-Fi password is 12345678. Once it joins the Wi-Fi, the app will update to display your current camera settings on the bottom, as well as new interface icons on the right. And this little button up top. This is the image transmission button. By default, it's off. If these app changes don't occur, try reconnecting your USB cable or powering down your camera for a moment. Tap the image transmission icon to get started. If the connection fails or gives you an error message, you may have to temporarily switch from movie mode into camera mode or a picture mode, set up image transmission, and then switch back to movie mode. Once it's started, we'll see our camera's video feed live. Tap this icon to fill the screen with your footage. And tap this icon to hide the user interface. You want to keep your phone as close as possible to the Weeble for the best performance. Now before we wrap up, you can also control your camera settings directly in the app. This icon allows you to change aperture. This icon for exposure compensation. This one for ISO, and you can even control white balance from the app, which retains all of your camera's custom white balance presets. Those are awesome features, you can't deny it. And uh, that's it for me today. If you guys have any questions, comments, or you need help with anything, let me know down below. 
Thumbs up if you liked the vid, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in upcoming videos, we're gonna dive more into the ZY Play app, how to use its features, and we're gonna film in the different modes for the Weeble app. You don't wanna miss it. Till the next one, everybody. I'll see ya.